if somebody want to fill me in, if somebody want to call me and let me know what all the hell is going on. What do with that, y'all? This girl such a craziness. No coming to you, 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 and you with another word on the street segment. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. So if you didn't check out my previous video, definitely go check it out. Basically, Evelyn came to the internet and she wanted to address the whole um rumors going around that she portrayed her friend, I guess not friend now, so her ex-friend, that was engaged to the game. Now the game allegedly done knocked up miss uh shanice evelyn's daughter so they trying to you know people like trying to figure out what the hell are, are you serious but like i said i'm looking at the game sideways like what the hell and then shanice i'm looking at you too i'm like what is going on in the lazada household over there but um yeah so this is a little bit of what evelyn had to say it's always interesting for me and i talked about this recently for me to read the stuff about myself that are just false, you know? Um, oh my God, this person was best friends with that person. How dare they? But a lot of the stuff that you see is really bullshit. You know, if I was in a photo with somebody 10, 15 years ago, whatever it is, it doesn't mean we were friends. It doesn't mean we were best friends. It doesn't mean that we dated. Um, you could be in a photo with somebody or you could share space with somebody and it not be what people make it out to be. You know, and a lot of people believe this. Shit, so it's so interesting to me. What's interesting to me is how did this even come about? Like if the game is really the baby daddy. No, we really shouldn't give a damn because we ain't in that situation. But it's just like, how did it come about? And yet you and uh, Tiffany was seems like from the pictures or whatever was close. Don't know what happened behind closed doors or why y'all might not even be close anymore. But um, baby. <laughs> Your daughter messing with your friend's ex fiance. I child, that's too much allegedly. So Funky, when I tell you he went in, he went in on Shanice. Okay, he like, how did you even? Why did you even? We talking about a person that ain't been relevant in the music game since we don't know how long. Out of all the people you could uh, you know dibble them dab with, you trucked yourself onto the game. <laughs> he was like, baby girl, you went out bad. You like damaged goods. I said, funky. But y'all take a listen for y'all selves, honey. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Ooh, child, I mean, he woke her out. Evelyn, here is one thing that I do know um, from me knowing Shawnee at an arm's length distance or through other people. Shawnee is part of your inner circle. Shawnee don't be around just anybody. And those pictures, I find it very odd that in each one of them, it was you, Shawnee, and Tiffany, which suggests that y'all was a little posse. Y'all were a small little posse. And Evelyn, it, 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 it just looks messed up. Now, honestly and truthfully, Evelyn shouldn't be catching flack for something that her grown-ass daughter was doing. But there's also an argument to be made that your daughter should have been raised with a little more morals and values than to go out and, and, and lay up with the, the man that belonged to one of your friends who looks like she could be an auntie or a godmama to her daughter. But then there's another argument that could be made that Evelyn raised her that way or didn't raise her to, to have those values because that's who Evelyn is on the inside and out. Here is what we're going to say without bringing Tiffany into it and without bringing Evelyn into it. It looks very funky that your daughter is pregnant by the game. All right. Nothing against the game. The game's not as big as he used to be once upon a time. He's significantly older, uh, you know, on the scale from A to F. He's probably in like the C minus list right now. And Shanice, I want you to know that you sunk your heels into something too low too soon. Because the reality of the situation is for the girls that get their fame and notoriety from their baby daddy, they normally start up high. See, they get somebody high and then that makes all the other men in the industry want them because industry men have this weird fascination about having or linking up with the girl that the other popular guy got. But I can assure you there is nobody except for the guy who is the truck driver for UPS 
or the shift lead at Arby's, that is the only guy that is striving to smash the same girl that the game did. All right. Any of the men that are popular on the scene right now, trust and believe the, the words, the game don't even come up in any level of conversation. A girl on the shoulders of the game does not make any guy jealous. It doesn't. You know what I'm saying? And Shanice, unfortunately, you have tarnished your marketability in the celebrity uh, celebrity slang <laughs> circle. You 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 started out. You entered the you entered the game too low. You entered down here, and you should have entered up here. And unfortunately, because the game is so down here at this point, you don't have much room to grow because people are going to be like, "Oh, she's damaged goods." You didn't have a baby from Chris Brown. You didn't have a baby from. You know, hell, Tiger at this point. You didn't have a baby from the baby, little baby. You didn't have a baby from, you know, any of those people. You had a baby from the game who's been out the game for so you down here. Like TV One Unsung could be at your baby shower. They could put your baby shower in the episode of his Unsung. That's where he's at, his VH1 behind the music. That's his biopic. That's kind of, you know, what you did. And um, your mama just will have to keep patting her <laughs> on basketball wives in order to keep y'all afloat because, I mean, I just don't see this going, you know, to the bank. Now, it might go to the check cash in place. It might go to the payday advance place. But I just don't really see this going to the bank. If you get my drift, I mean, like even your mama was smart enough to go around there and play around Mark Anthony house for a little bit. I quiet as a kid. You should have went and hunched behind her and went around Mark Anthony uh, insect looking self house. But you had went and played silly games with the game. Quiet as a kept Shanice, and I ain't got nothing against you. You ain't never did nothing, and you stay out the public light. But I'm starting to wonder if your ass got an IEP and did you ride the short bus? Because I don't understand how you laid it low and spread it wide for the game and then got pregnant. Girl, you got to do better. It's giving me Shanice got a low self-esteem tease. It's giving me that you got a low self-esteem tease, that you just jumped over head, head over heels and got pregnant by the game. Quiet as a scout, Shanice, y'all, yeah, she ain't got an ugly bone in her. She ain't got an ugly bone in her. She is a beautiful girl. She is young. And she could have leveraged who her mama was to really be one of them baddies on that Hollywood, L.A., New York scene if she wanted to. Now, there's also aspects of Shanice's personality, the little bit that we've seen, that gives me she might not want to be that girl like that. She might not want to be a Kim Kardashian, a Lori Harvey, a Paris Hilton, a Lindsay Lohan, a Britney Spears. She might not want to be any of those things, and that is okay. But you can't tell me that girl when you was down to you know to, to the to the bed and having dreams, hopes, and aspirations that you know the highest level aspiration you had was to be a baby mama from the game, baby. The game's supposed to be sold and not told, but I'm out here telling it to you for free because obviously your mama skipped a few sessions while she was over there packing her <laughs> over there with Ocho Cinco House running up his water bill and his light bill ranching out her <laughs> from all that 90s and 2000s. She was too busy ranching it out, renaming the bathroom at his house summer's eve while you was over there raising yourself and paying all the bills. Don't get mad at me. I ain't coming for you. That's what Jennifer told Shawnee on Basketball Why That Jennifer said that. I just repeated it. Jennifer said it. You want to know who said it? Jennifer said it. I'm just repeating it. But maybe why you was over there paying the bills, your mom, your mama should have been texting you the manual on how to not get caught up in the game, played by the game with the game. Girl, we finna move on.